just look at how much came from one gar. That's like four pounds of gar bites. From one fish, what do you guys think? Does it even taste good? You think that's gonna be enough for our family? Yes. One gar can feed our family? Why? Because we know gar is edible, it is food, and it is tasty. So we're gonna have some gar bites with vegetables for lunch. Are you ready, little man? Vegetables. I'm ready. And then what do we do after this? Uh, a bunch of meat chickens. Yes, then we take out the meat chickens. I was going to have this as a reward for us when we got done with the meat chickens, but instead we're going to have it to fuel our bodies to get our job done. Who's ready? Me! Alright, let's thank God and dig in. Yes, sir. And y'all, obviously catching gar is technically free for catching the minnows. And we've got the equipment. I mean, we're recy using recycled jugs to catch them. Uh I was just about to pick this jug up. And it started running. Oh. I was just about to pick that jug up. And it's fun. So other than the time I have invested, which I count as fun activity, the gar was basically free. It's at the lake. And Mama bought that for two dollars. So we're feeding a family of what, nine? For two bucks right now? You're smart. Alrighty. Who thinks that's tasty stuff? Me! And guys, for anyone who hasn't never tried gar, and they're wondering like, is that really tasty? What do you guys think? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And what do you think they should do? Try it. Try it. Some people say they're too bony, guys. There's two giant boneless back straps. I'll show you. Eight and a half pounds for the whole fish. Four and a half pounds once I took these off. These are two pound fillets, guys. Boneless back straps. I got a full video on the main channel on how to cook this. And if you want to see a full video of uh, me catching that one with my boys here, Bugger and Monster Truck, uh, we got one on our fishing channel. So feel free to check it out. It was a wild adventure. We only got one, but it counts. Look at that, y'all. Those two are the same exact shape because I cut them, you know, out of the big boneless strips. I just slice them, slice them, slice them. But it's almost like chicken nuggets where you only get four shapes. Look at that. I mean, this is pretty much the shape and size of a chicken nugget. I remember the chicken nuggets that are that size. Uh, look, or that shape anyway. Look at that. Those are the same piece. There's like a glitch in the matrix right now. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is a really cool thing too. Check this out. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? A friend of mine was at an auction and this is what they bring equipment in on. Look at that. And he thought maybe I could use some. So he dropped it off for me. And actually I think this one we might use as a table right now for the kids. Well, I got a tabletop I can put on here. But I was just thinking about what am I gonna do for some of the gates and other things I'm gonna build. And he dropped all this off for free. Happens to be the same guy who lent me his welder. So he was talking about dropping this off and my heart kind of leapt for joy. I'm like, wow, that'd be awesome if you can get that. And wow, how cool is it that, you know, he doesn't have his own place right now to store things. So he thought I could use them. Went through the effort of picking them up and dropping them off. And I'm like, woohoo. And then I thought, oh man, he's gonna pick up his welder too, isn't he? And then my heart kind of sank a little bit. But I said, oh, I suppose you want to drop it off and then pick up the welder, too. And he says, well, if I'm dropping all of this off for you right now, why would it make sense for me to pick up the welder? He says, I'm not using it right now. He says, you can keep it there. If I need it, I know you'll bring it over. And I'm like, dude, that is so awesome. So I think I'm going to use that one as a table right now for the children. And, uh, wow, I've got some fun projects to come on that.
really fun to go inside the chicken. You do? What comes out from inside there? The gizzard, the liver, that little green poppy thing, the lungs. Is that one about done, ready for mom in the house? Yeah. Pretty close. Got a lot of flies getting out, so you gotta work quick. That's the most important part. You can come back to the gallbladder, or the, yeah, you can come back to the gizzard, just get that chicken done. We'll wash them off and get them in. Uh, my favorite part's going to the chicken too. I just like to feel how warm it is. And it's fun cutting open the gizzards. How about eating the gizzards? They're really tasty if you saute them in butter. Yeah. So I am doing a gizzard here and I'm just trying to peel off this part that we're not going to eat. See how easy that yeah. comes apart? Now that's the part that's edible. He took off the inner layer. And you're really good at that, aren't you? Yes. A lot of practice by now. Bug, what are you two doing? Plucking. Plucking? Yeah. So plucking is what? What are you taking off? Um, Feathers. And you're big enough to help too? Yeah. How long do you help for, like an hour or two? An hour? I've already done two chickens. You've already plucked two chickens? One, I mean. One, and this is gonna be your second? I wow. did, one, did you have fun in the woods peeking around the trees looking at the chickens and then running to get them? Yeah. yeah. Well, you kids do some great work. Thank you. So we're going to be having some heritage breed baby turkeys come in like uh, this week. So getting these meat chickens done and out of the way is going to be easy, um, easier for us when we have the uh, baby turkeys because then we won't have to be butchering them anymore and we can focus on growing up the baby turkeys. So that'll be really exciting when they come in and it should be really soon so I'm excited to see what breeds we get because we could be getting multiple breeds. And baby turkeys, people say they're hard to keep alive when they're little, and so that is going to be challenging, and it'll be easier without the meat chickens here. All right, one less chore we got to worry about. Well, these guys are almost there. I got a couple to take to mom. That one's good too for mom? Yep. All right, she'll be happy. Looking good, guys, and I'll get a couple more coming soon.
That's the last one, buddy. Hey, Dr. Pepper, where's the last chicken? Is that him? Careful, it's hungry. I might peck at you. Last one. What do you guys got? Wow, that's almost 10, huh? Eight of them on the table? All right, we got 10 left, and if we got eight on the table, I got one to go, we got one left in the thing. Let's do her. What says you, my lady? Kai says things are looking good. Are you happy to move past this stage of our life this year? Yeah, but I'm kind of sad because I'm gonna miss, miss the meat chickens. I kind of enjoyed them having them out in the pasture. Yeah, they were rather free range, and we yeah. never really locked them up except for night. Yeah, and they did really well. They kind of walked around here and there and went to the other pastures if they needed to. We didn't move them around like some people do. Right. It was kind of real easy. And with low, yeah. I mean, our fencing protects against dogs or other things. We don't really have many foxes or stuff that would come during the day. And our dogs did really good. With yeah, them too. they would so, lay down with the dogs. Dust bath next to our dog. So. Yep, and we don't we don't have hawks attacking any of our animals, so they can kind of be out all day. Yep, worked out well. Now like you, eating the mango seed. Forward to turkeys. Yes, this Coming week. Coming in a few days, probably. So we mm -hmm. gotta get our turkey spot ready. I'm thinking we should move that to a different pasture, maybe over here. Pull it across. We'll see. To give that area a break. Well, at least move it from where it is. Okay. All, right. <laughs> okay. All right, kids, they got them going. And soon I'm gonna have a smoking party where I smoke a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, the smoked duck hearts were amazing, so I really look forward to smoking up all the chicken hearts in one go. I think I'm gonna smoke some of the chicken breast and then cut it and then smoke it some more and just make some really amazing stuff. Some of these are smaller. Uh, they were supposed to be all males. We got a couple hens. So that smokehouse has been a huge blessing for our family. There it is, center screen. Just huge. And uh, can smoke quite a bit of stuff at once. I'm gonna uh, take care of these last two. The kids are running with this stuff. And uh, yeah. Then we'll probably do a bonfire and burn up all the scraps. No need to attract any undesirables to the property. We'll just burn up all the evidence so they got nothing to come and munch on. Did you find any? No. No. He did a double check on the property to make sure we didn't have any. That's the last of it. Man, I want to show you guys. Look at the size of that creature. That is over four feet long. And check out that bite. It actually bit me. Oh, that hurt bad. Where it hit there and continues down there all the way to there because its mouth was so long. At the same time, it's laying that on the other side. I got it cleaned up and not too bad, but that is one long bite across the top of my hand, bottom of my hand, all the way down my arm, but look at how savage those teeth are. Yeah. Over four feet long, over four pounds of food for my family. That was a good meal, wasn't it, Pink? Are you doing one last check? Or you think we're done? Pinky has a sneaking suspicion we didn't get along. I think we. No? I know, I didn't find any in there earlier. I wouldn't look myself. But I'm gonna go check. I'm just washing up my hands. Hey, do you have fun crawling around in the woods? Yeah. With your face paint on? And guys, just so you know, uh, there's been a lot of people on a lot of continents for a lot of millennia that have for one reason or another painted their face and used feathers. So don't think we're making fun of anyone or doing anything else like that. We're just having fun. That's all, that's all it is. Did you see monster trucks? He had like a soul patch and like a mustache. That's not some sort of traditional something or another. A soul patch and mustache, that's like a V4 Vendetta Guy Fox type stuff, you know? <laughs> oh, let's take a peek at this cooler though. Mama's already got quite a few in the house taken care of. I got all sorts of this stuff rinsed off right now. Look at that pile of feathers. Yeah. 
And then the other chickens, they don't care. And if you guys saw too, some of you may wonder, how did you have the chickens there the whole time these guys are tearing apart chickens? The chickens don't care. Honestly, I would have, I don't know, four to eight of them hanging over there and more would just keep running up and pecking on the ground beneath them and looking around. They don't, they don't care. They're chickens, so don't think we're trying to be insanely cruel or inhumane or stuff like that. I know that the people who normally watch this channel, they, they, they understand reality, but if you stumbled across this and for some reason happened to watch it, um, that's where we're at, okay? And look at this, guys, these little hearts. I can't wait to smoke them. Mm. Look at that, a couple left. Anyone got a squeaker left? You guys know what that part? Oh, I have one right here. You have one? Let's squeak, squeak. <laughs> As well. If you ever butchered chickens, you probably know about that. Some of these ain't the biggest. I like the ones we got last time better than the ones we got this time. Uh, but this is still tasty. Still a lot of good food. They sound just like those dog toys. They do. It's a dog squeak toy. The dog's looking at me right now. But it's a food. A <laughs> food squeak toy. I will get a full head count on exactly how many we took out. Um, and let you guys know, we lost a couple in raising them, usually happens. Um, and then we have eaten a couple already. Um, the children butchered up some when I was gone, which is cool. They ate some and then I smoked some. But uh, yeah, this is super cool. I can't wait to get to work on some stuff. And look at this, because I had this tabletop, you know, they were just able to use it as a platform. Hey, is that a good height for you guys to work at? I mean, it's pretty much... If I don't get any taller. <laughs> I'll have you move up to a bigger table when you get taller. But that was about it, guys. Just life on the homestead, having fun, working together, providing food for our family. Uh, cool thing is, I picked up over twice as much food as those uh, chickens were going to need for the duration of their life. I uh, got a place, is it Beaver Creek? Out of, uh, by Ava, Missouri. We had some friends pick us up a super sack, 2,000 pounds, and brought it down for us. And uh, we just got some barrels where we mixed in some DE to kill any bugs that might get into it or have gotten into it. Now we got some extra barrels of feed on hand. Um, I'm not gonna tap into them, that's, that's my plan, is just to kind of have it there. Probably rotate stock as we go. But that way if things get bad, if prices explode, if, um, supply chain gets more disrupted or things what we'll be able to do is have that as a backup supply so we'll keep just buying and using using as usual all of a sudden if everything goes crazy we're like okay here's our supply here's what we got what chickens do we want to call right now what chickens do we want to you know move out and figure out things with what ones do we want to keep who can reproduce and sort through our poultry a little more intentionally at that point um you know, that's our plan, that's our goal. Plan for the future. Have extra stuff on hand. Get it while you can afford it because it's probably cheaper than waiting to get it later. We'll see you guys next time. Pop out! That's good, you know.